I knew it. But I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong. I mean, back then, you... You were a hero. It was during the Third Great Ninja War. An age when men and women, young and old, anyone who was known as ninja, flew headlong into battle. They drew blood, shed their bonds, stole things, and lost their own. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. They too were ninja, embroiled in this terrible war, putting their lives on the line. How are you always so late? Ninja have rules. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito, remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a med kit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife. Just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? Sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap like that would just be excess baggage. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start fighting! Now... Let me run through the mission. You're all aware that the Land of Earth has launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the Land of Fire. That's why we need to stop them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. Got okay. it. They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay.
really do have a lot on their side. Kakashi's getting tired. Be right there! I'm surprised you consider better than this stone ninja! Okay, let's go! Think again! Let's go! All set! Hey, Kakashi? Good. No sign of any reinforcements. Kakashi's really worn out. Let's retreat for now and regroup. I'm... I'm fine. Fine my ass? That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk, coming from a ninja who was too scared to be of any help. I... I wasn't scared! I was just... You know, I, I had a tummy ache. I'll be fine next time. That's all that ever comes out of your mouth. Excuses. Enough already, you two. <sighs> You're going to have to work together from now on if you want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito, you still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in a battle with no exit, the boys just kept moving forward, running as fast as they could. <sighs> wow. Who knew there was all this going on under the Leaf Shrine? Now, let's begin. <sighs> Reaper Death Seal, release! This mask is necessary in order to use the jutsu written in that scroll. Using this calls out the Reaper, which then possesses the user. Then we can release the things that were sealed by the Reaper. Jugo, Sasuke, Suigetsu, get ready! Now, Jugo, use your chakra to make the extraction from Sasuke. That should draw out the spores of the Zetsu that Toby set as Sasuke's watchdog. They'll serve as the sacrifices to summon the Four. Reanimation Jutsu! Come now. Come! The ones who know everything. The former Hokage! Oh, the, the first Hokage? Hashirama Senju, feared as the god of all ninja in the flesh. What's going on here? The Reaper Death Seal. They must have released it somehow. And then used reanimation. Looks like we've been brought back to life, First Hokage. 
reanimation again? Everyone seems to have no trouble using the jutsu I invented. There's a reason for this. I simply prepared all this to grant his wishes. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have some questions for you, Hokage. What? Sasuke? First of all, third, why did you make my brother do what he did? I see. So you know. I still want to hear it from your mouth. Everything about Itachi. He killed his fellow clan members and stopped a coup. The man single-handedly prevented a war. He even installed himself in the Akatsuki as a spy after that, to keep the village safe. All under the condition that I protect you, his younger brother. So it was really true. Now, first, I ask you. What is the village? What does it mean to be a ninja? Itachi, my brother, was prepared to protect the Hidden Leaf with his life, despite knowing he'd been used by the village. And he was proud to be a shinobi of the Leaf. What does it mean to give up your own life to protect a village? And what about the ninja that creates such a situation and believe that it's okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to hear the truth so I can decide for myself. Should I take revenge on the village, or...? Revenge on the village? <clears throat> you think I'm just going to let you...? Tobirama! Lower your hand. Fine. <laughs> well, excuse me. Well, you want to know about the village, you say? I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know, but it might take some time. No. Please just tell the boy what he wants to know as quickly as possible. What do you mean? We're in the middle of a war here. Madara Uchiha has come back to life, and is trying to destroy every last ninja in the world. <gasps> yes, I can sense a powerful chakra presence at two o'clock. The second Hokage is right. I'm picking up some intense chakra too. But it's not just that. No, I think... Ah, this feeling. Naruto, you're fighting too, aren't you? If Madara's back, talking will have to wait. We can't afford to sit around here and do nothing. I'm sorry, but if you want to head to the battlefield, I must insist we finish our conversation first. If you can't provide Sasuke with the answers he desires, I wouldn't put it past him to use you all to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Damn you, Orochimaru! Don't worry, Orochimaru. We understand. Our first priority should be finding a way to ease up what's binding him. So, where should I begin? Well, in order to explain what a village and a ninja are, I must first explain about the two clans, the Uchiha and the Senju. We fought and fought. Both of us were at the very end of our ropes. And we both knew the end had to be in sight for one of us. Take 
It's over, Madara. Then finish me. Can't do it. That is your problem, Hashirama. You're soft. Yeah. I'll do anything to protect our... No, to protect my village, no matter what happens. I believe that protecting the village means protecting the people of the Hidden Leaf. The ninja, the children. I don't care who it is. My friend, my brother, or my own child. I won't forgive anyone who threatens it. You have your priorities mixed up. That will create darkness in the village. Someday. <clears throat> That's when I found my resolve. My resolve to protect the village to the bitter end. I don't know how he resurrected himself now, but I buried my friend for good that day. For the sake of the village. Which brings me to the village itself. What Madara and I envisioned at first was a place for clans to come together and connect. A way to bring order out of chaos, and keep it that way. It was a place where our children could be safe, where no pointless battles were fought, a place of peace. But the fact is, it created a darkness like the one that your brother Itachi bore. Perhaps Madara was right. Perhaps he saw all that coming. I'm the one who created that situation. I'm the only one who gave it the okay. You see, to me, a ninja is someone who bears anything necessary to achieve his goal. However, a ninja is also shaped by what sort of goal he strives for. Just like Madara and I. A ninja is someone who bears whatever it takes to reach his goal. That's what I built the village on. But Madara had a different ideal. I don't know about Madara's current resurrection. I don't know what's behind this idea of his to wipe out the world's ninja, but... Infinite Tsukuyomi. Regardless of clan, creed, country, or anything. He wants to trap everyone in a genjutsu so he can make things happen exactly as he desires. Everything my brother and you fought so hard to protect. He wants to destroy it all. Then we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. Now that you've heard the first Tokage's explanation, what do you intend to do with it? Will you turn your blade toward the hidden leaf? Or... Sasuke, forgive me. I always lied to you. I asked you to forgive me. Even as I kept pushing you away, I didn't want to pull you in. But now I think of it this way. Maybe you could have changed father, mother, the Uchiha clan, if I'd faced you honestly from the very beginning. 
If we told each other the truth as equals, I failed. I won't put myself above you and tell you this and that. It's too late. So this time for once, let me tell you one small truth. It's all right if you never forgive me. But no matter what you become, I will always love you. I'm going into battle. The village, Itachi. I won't let it all be in vain. Well said. Come then, there's no time to lose. So, that's the path you've chosen. Now, show me what you're capable of. Sasuke Uchiha. Your new wind.